It was this historic day of 24th September 2014 when India joined an elite club of nations who have successfully reached our nearest planetary neighbor, Mars. The 44 meters tall Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle successfully placed the MOM orbiter into the intended Earth orbit. Thereafter, it took a number of complicated maneuvers over a period close to 10 months to place the orbiter in the Martian orbit. The GSLV Mark III M1 rocket launched Chandrayaan-2 on 22 July 2019. Following a series of highly complex maneuvers, the spacecraft successfully completed its journey of approximately 3,84,000 kilometers to the lunar orbit. Though the lander experienced problems in its final descent phase, the orbiter with its instruments is providing answers of many questions on the moon and the mission is still considered as a success. Team ISRO has made years of tireless efforts to develop necessary competence for carrying out such complex missions. We were spurred onto this journey in space by the visionary scientist Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, who said that if we have to play a meaningful role nationally and in the committee of the nations, we must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies to real problems of man and society. Following his vision, Today, ISRO maintains large constellations of communication and Earth observation satellites in different orbits around the Earth. These satellites have evolved over a period of time and have varied capabilities. The communication satellites enable both the fixed and the mobile and broadband services using many advanced and state-of-the-art technologies like dual-gridded antenna reflectors, unfurlable antenna system, RF receivers, miniaturized dielectric resonator filters, solid state amplifiers, high power multiplexers, and so on. The Earth observation satellites operating in diverse regions of electromagnetic spectrum also use highly advanced technologies like phased array radars, hyperspectral imagers, CCD sensors, and optical camera systems. We also have today an operational Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System named NAVIC, which is a constellation of seven satellites providing navigation services on Indian landmass and approximately 1500 kilometers around it. Team ISRO has also been successful in designing and implementing many satellite applications, which have proved highly useful for the development of the country. These include remote sensing applications related to agriculture, forestry, environment, disaster warning, planning of urban and rural housing. The satellite communication applications include countrywide telemedicine, tele-education and disaster management networks and so on. SATCOM-based solution for real-time monitoring of trains is one of the recently developed applications for Indian railways. Team ISRO also has a fleet of launch vehicles, which place most of our satellites into orbit. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, has made large number of successful launches and is today looked upon as one of the most reliable launching system in the world. It has been shining successes like launching 104 satellites in one go, Chandrayaan-1 and Mars Orbiter Mission and many more. Equipped with powerful indigenous cryogenic upper stages, the two-ton capable geostationary satellite vehicle and the heavy lift four-ton capable GSLV Mark III are also now operational launch vehicles. The successful maiden test flights of the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator RLVTD and Scramjet, the air-breathing technology demonstrator, are the other major highlights in the satellite launch vehicle technology area. Let us now take a look at how ISRO is spread across the nation and meet some of us. The headquarter of ISRO is located in Bengaluru. The policies, 
guidelines and program plans generated here are executed through six major centers and 12 units of ISRO, which are spread across the country. Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC at Tiruvannandapuram is the largest center of ISRO, where the design and development activities of satellite launch vehicles and sounding rockets are carried out and made ready for launch operations. The center pursues research and development activities for associated technologies such as launch vehicle design, propellants, aerodynamics, avionics and polymers and composites. UR Rao Satellite Center, URSC and Bangalore develops the satellite platforms called BUS and carries out integration activities of satellite. It also carries out research and development activities in the areas of structures, thermal systems and spacecraft mechanisms, digital and communication systems, integration and power systems and control systems. The activities at Space Application Center, SAC, focus on the design and development of space-borne instruments and payloads for ISRO missions. SAC also develops and operationalizes applications of space technologies, ground systems and data processing systems. All our rocket launches take place from Satish Dhawan Space Center, SHAR, SDSE SHAR, at Sriharikota, one of the best known names among the space ports of the world. It has two launch pads and state-of-the-art assembly buildings for integrating launch vehicles solid rocket motors development facility and many others. The various other centers and units are involved with activities like development of liquid and cryogenic propellant system, different types of sensors, inertial guidance systems, satellite imagery and many other value-added services. Cooperation and joint missions are the buzzword today among the major space players of the world. Chandrayaan-1 and Megatropics were the major such missions in which we collaborated with NASA and French Space Agency CNAS respectively. Many more such as ISRO-NASA-SAR are ongoing. During the course of such missions, there are also opportunities to work with the best in the business at home and abroad. The near future holds quite a few exciting missions in store. The Human Space Flight Mission also known as Gaganyaan, is expected to roll out by 2022, wherein Indian astronauts will spend five to seven days in space before being brought safely back to the Earth. Other challenging missions include Aditya L1, the mission to the Sun, a Venus mission and a landing experiment for India's reusable launch vehicle RLV, followed by a return flight experiment. ISRO stands for excellence, dedication and an everlasting thirst for research and breaking new ground in various fields. It provides opportunity to its team to work in world-class facilities having latest equipment. The working atmosphere is modern and highly conducive for high technology research. From the days of Dr. Sarabhai, ISRO has welcomed talented youngsters into its fold. It comprises men and women from various reputed institutions of the country. Each one of them brings a unique set of life experiences, skill sets and knowledge, all of which blends into a cauldron of rich diversity with a single-minded goal of applying space technology for the benefit of the humanity. Give your ideas a liftoff and ignite your passions to watch your dreams soar. ISRO beacons you to join in its great journey to do things which very few get to do.